right, so here we are inside of Adobe. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we have this text layer. So as you see, these text layers are simply a letter morph that we have done in a lot of Pixrate series videos. So if you are watching this video for the first time, it is easy. All you need to do is that you need to create, for example, one word and then you need to duplicate it and then you need to change the uh, font weight. And all you need to do is that you need to just create shapes from text and then uh, at the last, you need to set some keyframes on path animation. And this will just allow you to uh, morph a shape from one letter to an another letter, something like this. So I'm just going to show it to you quickly. So as you see, it will be something like this. And for the sake of this tutorial, I have done it already. So we can just move on with the video itself. So as you see, we have these texts in here that we need to get a letter morph for the word sweet. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new composition. So let's just create it and let's just call it 01 and let's hit OK. Now, on this step, we need to create a displacement map. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to bring the 00, 0 comp in here and let's just align it to the middle. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new uh, layer and let's just call and let's just rename it to map, which is a displacement map. And then I'm just going to add a gradient ramp effect into it. And then let's just add a Gaussian blur and give it a blurness for like five pixel. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the time displacement effect. And then we need to hide this layer. Let's just set it on the map layer. Let's just change it to effects and masks. Let's just change the max displacement time to 0 0.5 and the time resolution to 200. So this will be our animation. Let's just take a look at it. All right, this seems good. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a bit texture to it by adding a Gaussian blur effect. Let's just set the Gaussian blur on 10. So as you see, we'll have some blurriness and then we can turn it into a texture by adding curves effect. And in alpha channel, we're just going to set the bright and dark channel like this. So we have some jittering textures like this. All right, now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to create a new composition. Let's just call it 0 0.2. And we're going to stack a few more effects on this um, sweet layer. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add an echo. And then let's just change the echo to 0 0.010. Now let's just increase the number of copies to 50. And let's just turn down the decay to 90. So now let's just watch.
All right, so here's the animation so far. Now we can colorize it and even make it better by adding a coloroma effect. So let's just add the coloroma. Let's just change the input phase from the get phase from, from intensity to alpha. And this will. And then let's just go towards the output cycle and let's just change it to a wrap gray and we can just set the gray like this. So this will be all color. And at the end, we can just add a facts blur for like amount of like five mm, or three. And now what we can do is that we can just add a black background at the end. So this will be our layer. Now we can composite everything by creating the main comp. And then we can just bring the zero or one. Uh, I'm sorry, 002 comp. And then what we can do is that I'm just going to start with the one effect, which is the shift channel. So this will basically shift the channel. So I'm just going to set the So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to set the other two layers to off. And then I'm just going to duplicate this layer. I'm just going to set its mode on add. And then I'm, this time I'm just going to set the blue on fall off, the green from green, and then the rest fall off. And then I'm just going to duplicate it one more time, the red from the red, and the rest from the fall off. So this will be our animation. And now what we can do is that we can just create a black background and we can create a new adjustment layer and we can set it on the, and then as a fast box blur effect, the set on five. And lastly, what we can do is that we can just bring the photo lab texture in here and we can just set its mode on the screen. Yek joy to be in most way. But be careful. All right, now that we have this animation, we can just simply offset each one by one frame. So I'm just going to go one frame forward and I'm going to set it on here. And then one frame forward, I'm just going to set it on here. And then we can just set the animation from two seconds above. And then we can just work on the background. So let's just add a background like this. And we can add a texture. So by adding an adjustment layer, let's just add a fastbox blur. Let's just give it a blurriness for like a three um, pixels. And then what we can do is that lastly, we can just bring the photo 
copy texture in here and we can just set its mode on the screen. And let's just reduce the opacity. So this will be our final result. So here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.